Testing, testing, is this thing on? Hello everyone, it's Teemo27. Today I've unboxed my Wii U. I finally saved up enough money to get one. And it's been a while since you and I have played some console games together. A lot of our games that we've been playing have been PC games, mostly because of scheduling and things like that. But I thought that I would get together with you and commemorate this unboxing of my Wii U by playing a game that I've been anticipating since I saw its uh, release trailer. We're going to play The Messenger for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's on other consoles. But we're going to play it on the Nintendo Switch because this is the only Nintendo Switch game I currently own. Let's get started. Uh, the Messenger right now on the Nintendo eShop is $20, and I have yet to determine... Oh, hold on. Sent on the perilous train from the rest of the world. Why doesn't he do it himself? Anyway, that's the story. We're pl the messenger. We are the messenger. It's a game made by uh, Sabotage Studio Incorporated, presented by Devolver Digital. You know Devolver Digital. They published the uh, game Enter the Gungeon, which you know I am very, very fond of. And the music is by Rainbow Dragon Eyes, an independent uh, music developer all right looks like you know the looks like we got everything we need language is english controls up down left right lightfoot tabby zr which would be the right bumper that's the inventory is minus pause is plus jump back okay so we're using that kind of control huh rope dart attack Shuriken, map, pause. You know, the one thing I want to comment about the Switch controller is that this thing plays, it feels much more like an actual like PS4 controller or any other modern game controller, which is kind of odd if you think about it. Anyway, let's play the Messenger. So if you haven't already noticed, the Messenger is based off of, is a game that is basically a homage to all of, uh, uh, should we say Steam 27? Yeah, I want my own private file, so I'll do Steam 27 for the Let's Play file. It's a game that is heavily influenced by Ninja Gaiden, uh, which is rel el evident by oh look, there's just enough there's just enough space for me to put all my put all my letters. Fantastic! It's like the game is made for me. Anyway, the game again, I'm trying to say, is uh, heavily based off of Ninja Gaiden and is practically a tribute to Ninja Gaiden. Uh, all three of them, I think? How many Ninja Gaidens are there for the NES? Three? Anyway, that's us. We are the, we are the messenger. A history lesson. Uh, another lecture. A young ninja doesn't have any time for lectures. I like, so it looks like this is us. We are Steamboy 27. Ninja, ooh. Look at that, that's some fantastic. That's some fantastic sprite art. All right, looks like I don't know any other moves or skills besides jumping and slashing. But I'm sure we'll get more things afterwards. Alright, let's move. 
Ah, look, I can hit that. Didn't know about that. Okay, let's get on with it. Tea shop. Ah, uh, here they are. Here are here are our brothers who are differently colored than us. Jump, hit, jump. Hmm. So if I hit something over and over again, it seems like I get the I get unlimited jumps. Whew! That's not gonna make things difficult later. I can already see the platforming potential. Good thing we practiced it now. You can remain airborne as long as you find something to attack. Well noted. Okay. Like this. Ah, cool! I like this. I like that there's this guy here showing me how to do it. That's actually a really good design. Alright, cool. Uh, oh man. Light. Blue Ninja is not enthused by the other purple ninjas' daily lifestyle. Is the demon army about to attack? Right now? As we speak? Oh shit, it is. The western hero is supposed to save us. Oh shit! Oh my god! All our friends are dead! Priest man, what do we do? Yeah, that's not gonna stop us. <laughs> us not being ready doesn't mean shit. Okay. Oh, sh okay, maybe we should turn back. Not so fast, big boy. That sound, impossible. It's the Western hero. Riding on his Suzaku, his Phoenix. Which is quite odd for a Phoenix to be think of Western heroes. Barama Dazel. Alright, so we got Kratos. Count your blessings, ninja. Hello, Western hero. Who is remarkably Eastern. We're headed to Glacial, Glacial Peak to find three sages. Alright, we are no longer the ninja. We are the messenger. Oh, is that going to be on our back the whole game? Alright, cool. Let's go. Better, learn, better get used to cloud stepping. Looks like we have five pips of health and one green gem of something. Oh man, our entire village is burned down. Are we the only ninja left? Autumn Hills. Is this a linear game? I guess it is a linear game. We'll have to see. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know as much as you do, viewers. But I've been eagerly anticipating this since the day it was announced. Looks like things that are hittable also contain items. Alright, and we got this green stuff for money. Alright, our first encounter. Alright, relatively harmless. Alright, so there's no scrolling. It's all instant. Alright. Gonna jump over him. Cool. That looks to be... Health. I wonder if there's any wall meat, Castlevania style. Uh, can I duck under the fireball? I can, okay. Breaking through walls. Cloud stepping. Ducking. Will this hit him? It will not. I don't know what that guy was talking about. These guys don't do very much besides shoot and walk slow. Alright, the game did not tell me that. It didn't need to tell me that. I knew how to go through that floor. Alright, just gotta wait, jump, and then duck again. Easy stuff. I'm going to assume spikes are interested in death. It wouldn't be a NES style, NES tribute game without instant death spikes. 
Oh, I missed one. Damn. Oh. This is a really beautiful shot. <laughs> okay. Okay, video game. This is the great... This is great. That is fantastic. Please don't touch the cabinet. Well, okay, fine. This is cool. This is the touch I want in my video game. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. This is the shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? So I'm this mystic character who'll be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Time shards. We're collecting time shards, huh? We got the climbing claws. Press against the walls while everyone just stick to them. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright. Strike of the ninja. Attack enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. That sounds really good. Press B while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Sounds good. Underwater dash. Sounds good. Tap into your mind's key charges, allowing you to throw energy shuriken with X. A distance move. Enemies that drop a globe will sometimes drop a globe that restores key. Ooh, these are expensive. Sorry, jacket. HP plus one. Karuta plates. Okay. I think I'll get Strike of the Ninja. Uh, let's talk about the climbing claws. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Gaiden invented them decades ago. Who is John Gaiden? What is this place? Where or when? Any stories to share? Oh, that's not what I wanted. What do we got here? There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came when his master asked him to read something for him, which replies, I'm sorry, my lady, I cannot read. That reply immediately got him fired. Okay, that actually was kind of a clever story. I like that a lot. Let's get out of here. Get on with our adventure. I assume we'll be touching... Oh yeah, there we go. This is Ninja Gaiden. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so now we can climb walls. Cool! So it turns out Ryu always had just a bunch of climbing claws with them. Ryu, Ryu didn't know how to climb walls, he just had climbing claws. Alright, wise guy. That's one down. That's right, I can hit these now. Uh, uh, yep, that's a good upgrade. Let's keep going. Cha! Oh, that's right, I can use the, the double jump. Let's try it out. Hup, hup, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Learning. That guy's guarding a gourd, but I'm not really interested in that. I just want to kill him for the EXP. Ah, uh, they respawn. Never mind. Okay, we'll keep going then. Got through. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, evil demon leeches. Okay. Wouldn't be a game without evil demon leeches of some kind. Some sort of worm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right, learning. The cloud step is gonna, we, we gotta work on the cloud step now. Ooh, Hammer Brother version of something. Looks like he automatically aims at where I am, not where I'm gonna be. 
That's good. Oh. Checkpoint. But it doesn't look like I can go to the shop from there. So some checkpoints will have a shop, some will not. That makes sense. Can't have everything, you know, can we? Oh. Okay, it looks like I can swim. Can I breathe in the water, though? I can't attack. I cannot attack in the water, but I can slowly swim up and down. I like the music's effects underwater. All right, this one seems like it'll be a little bit annoying. Oh, never mind. We're faster than I thought we were. Ooh, that guy can hit. Ooh, I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, that guy can hit through the floor like an asshole. Good thing is they gave us some uh, health because I because they knew I wouldn't know that lesson early on. So this is pretty. We are playing by some strict NES rules. Any projectiles will go through walls, and they don't care. They're not sorry. Whew. It looks pretty good. It's capturing the captures the mood pretty well. Music is good. What's over here? Anything secret here? Can I go up this tree? Looks like I cannot. There's nothing in here. Huh. Guess we gotta go under. I'm really digging that transition for water. Cha. Cha. Oh shit. Thought he was done. Let's grab all this. Hoop. Wonder if I can hit that ball and do something and get a really high jump with it. Let's see. Mmm. I can't because he's not hitting me. Come on. I can! Okay, good things to know for later. Let's go to the shop. What are you gonna do? Oh shit! Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code, you see? Everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or when I achieve that, I will feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick ass game. Okay, Devolver. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and real- We're at the end of time, okay, well you revealed that to me. Goals will make people happy, they defer happiness into the future, so that the goal- to the when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it, and what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you're just stoked to live your own life and you don't need to defer any joys because you've optimized the present moment. Now, I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need you to optimize my own life and that implies you to stop opening my cabinet. Okay, so it looks like the cabinet is just... Okay, the cabinet's off limits. I get it. I get it. Alright, let's grab some shuriken. And I don't feel like I need health yet. I haven't died, so I don't want it. Defense up. HP up. Meditation. I want offensive stuff. So, let's see. Enemies that sometimes... Oh, this is kind of expensive, honestly. We'll get second wind next. See? See ya. Okay, so I have shuriken now. I have three shuriken. Looks like I can hit these infinitely for jumps. Alright.
Hmm. Not bad. Not strong. It seems to be just as strong as our sword. Which is good. Of course, now, now, I'm, out, now I'm out of shuriken, but it's besides the point. There, there. There's some shuriken. So if this guy dies in one hit... Got him. Okay. It does work that way. Oh. So they are as strong as my sword. Oh. Move, move, move. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah. See ya. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get me with that. I've played many, many games. What is that? What is that? That looks like something I want to touch. Let's try something. Okay, I want to try. I want to hit. I want to touch that glowing orb thing. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, I need to scroll a little bit further. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, looks like I can't touch that right now. I want to. Damn it. Okay. It just looks like something I want to want to touch. Huh. Hup. Yeah. Okay, so the game expected me to have shuriken at this point, I think. That's good. I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm doing what they expect me to do. Yeah, lantern. Let's go. I will say our ninja buddy here seems pretty competent. He he does seem pretty competent. He's not just bored out of his mind and completely out of his league. He's just only slightly out of his league. Of course, a lot of that relies on me. Okay, Leech can go off the ledge. I wonder what kind of bosses we're gonna fight. Oh, you think you can hide this from me, huh? Well, you're wrong. Okay. Oh. Physics. This is cool. Secret area. All right. That's that's the symbol we saw in the tree earlier that I was trying to touch earlier. So, it seems you're one to wander up to the beaten path. I think I just smashed instead of collecting. It's a power seal. It may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Well, duly noted. So let's go back. Uh, looks like I can't go down here yet. I need some sort of downward type attack. But I know where to go for that secret room. Oh, I know. Keep going. By going, I mean going back. I know where that room is. I've s I saw that earlier. Sorry guys, we're gonna 100% the game because that's what I like to do. Unless it's Dragon Warrior Monsters too, because I don't feel like breeding enough monsters for that. I'll do that some other time. Ducking? Yep, ducking is his function. Can't forget ducking. Okay, come on. We gotta go all the way back to that one area. Yeah, that money. Looks like grinding enemies for currency isn't the best idea. It's very expensive in terms of time. Doesn't give you very much. So there it is. I see it right there. I just can't reach it. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he was referring to the fact that I found that in a secret room. But I know that thing has something to do with something. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. They wouldn't just put that there for no reason. Leads me to believe that we'll probably be revisiting this area again at some point. Probably some sort of stage select system. Seeing our upgrades, by the way, 
Seems like we didn't really have that much to go with. Oh. Seems like we didn't have that much to go with in terms of upgrades. We don't have that many upgrades. The game might be pretty short. I don't know how long the game is. The game was only 20 bucks. Indie development decide. 20 bucks does not promise 50 hours of gameplay. It promises maybe about, I'd say at most, 5, maybe 10, depending on the game. We're also in the difficulty settings in the main menu, so we're playing the one, we're playing the difficulty the developers intended the game to be played at, and designed it around that, so that's something we should note earlier, note as well. Can I hit these? I can! I'll always check if you can hit something for Cloud Step. Alright, that works for enemies too. Okay, so they do follow the rules sometimes. Alright, up we go. Up, 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 up. This is a boss fight. Yeah, it's boss fight time. No, it's not. Okay, that that's a uh, surprising. Up, up, up. Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh oh. Uh, hello. Horrible. Okay, it looks like Corbel is how the game attempts to deal with us dying and or grinding using death as a method of getting things to respawn. Yeah, so Corbel just eats all of them. I'm going to bet that there's an achievement based on me not dying, which is unfortunate because I kind of wanted to not die. I would have liked to have the perfect run from the start, but I guess we had to meet Corbel at some point. It wouldn't be a complete game playthrough without us learning what the entire game is about, which in this case, alright, Corbel's here to Corbel is here to keep track of our deaths. Oh uh, he's gone now. Ah, now I gotta do now I have to learn how to do a Deathless run of this dang game? It's gonna be really annoying. Ugh. I wanted to do a perfect run now. Also, if I didn't run out of Shuriken, I would have uh, cleared that map area e pretty easily. So, I have myself to blame for that. Don't use Shuriken until you absolutely need to. Don't use shuriken until you absolutely need to. Enemies can die from spikes. Blah 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Gonna kill that guy. Can my shuriken even reach him? It cannot. Hop. 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 Okay, we got him. Could've done that earlier, Dylan. Could've done that way earlier. Alright, this looks very Mega Man-esque. What is this? Okay. I need to smash 44 power seals to open that shit? Oh my gosh. And we're not doing that again. Okay. Press B while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Corbel's do. Reduce Corbel's fine for saving your life by 50%. That's paying it forward right there. Enemies will sometimes drop a glow that restores key charge. Shurikens pierce. Okay, do I want second wind?
The answer is probably the answer is probably yes, but let's see how far we can get without it, because I want the Shuriken one first. Alright, let's fight this boss. I'm assuming it's that demon looking guy that looks like Kratos. Oh, that's that's definitely not what I was thinking it was gonna be. Hello! Oh Jesus! Okay. So duck after you hit the guy. I know how to play this game. Okay. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Gotta learn these patterns. Yikes! And you gotta throw them down, and then I'll jump over them. And I'll jump over them again. Okay, okay. I got the game. I got the game now. I just gotta jump to the center of the arena. And then, uh, 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 yeah, there we go. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't too bad. So long, Arbor Demon. What are you gonna give me for killing you? Nothing? Really? Okay, fine then. I'm not bitter about that at all. Let's move. 